Today's word is Jesus. Today's word is Jesus. Jesus is today's word. To the cross I look To the cross I cling With suffering I do dream Of its work I do sing For all in my Savior Were bruised and crushed Know that God is love And God is just At the cross you beckon me You draw me gently to my knees And I am lost for words So lost in love I'm sweetly broken Holy surrender Yeah Yeah Whoa What a priceless gift Undeserved life I have been given through Christ crucified. You've called me out of death. You've called me into life. And I was under your wrath. Now through the cross I'm reconciled. gently to my knees and I am lost for words so lost in love I'm sweetly broken holy surrender at the cross you beckon me you draw me gently Lord, Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this time tonight, Lord, to be able to spend with all of our friends here on the broadcast. Lord, I just thank you for allowing everyone to be able to come on to the broadcast, Lord, and we just thank you for, just thank you for this time. Thank you for this time to be able to get into your word and be able to open our eyes and open our ears so we can hear and see you, Lord. We just, um, <clears throat> Lord, I just ask for a blessing for all the people who are on here, and Lord, we, we ask for protection from the trolls. In your mighty and powerful Son's name we pray. Amen and amen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you guys for joining. How is everybody doing tonight? How is everybody doing on <clears throat> Kayla over there? On And who's that? Uh, Angel Love too, I believe. All right, we've got, um, we've got Facebook. We've got YouTube. We've got you 
No, we've got, um, I said YouTube, Facebook, you know, Periscope, Twitch, <clears throat> excuse me, Periscope, Twitch, and, um, yeah, I think that's it for right now. And we're going to have, we're going to bring on our friends from, uh, from, so when I get there, <clears throat> live.me. So if there's anybody over there, it doesn't look like there's anybody watching today over there on you now. I'm not sure what's up with that, but uh, that's all right. When I broadcast with the software, it doesn't allow me to see as many things. Oh, wait, maybe I need to. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> so if I click on audience, there's one viewer in the audience. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining, viewer. And I do appreciate you uh, joining the broadcast. All right. So um, we have... Some really, oh, look at that, look at that. We got some, I know my worth. There we go. We've got um, Dave. Dave Rice is in the house. No men choose God. But Kayla, Kayla, you never told me what song you want to hear, but I have a feeling I know which one. Joshua TV is in the house. Yep, Kayla, I think I know what song you want to uh, probably want, so. All right, let's go live over here on live.me. My choice. I know what song I'm going to pick because you sang it with me. Ooh, yeah. Sup, man? I appreciate you, too. Appreciate you, too, man. I'm lifting up your family in prayer as well. Definitely. What am I today? Am I talent? Am I music? Am I dance? No, I'm not dance. Definitely not dance. Maybe a little bit of chat. How about uh, adventure? No, definitely not adventure. Well, it could be an adventure. Comedy? Yeah, no, I'm not funny. So, I'm either an art or a lifestyle. Let's go with lifestyle. Lifestyle sounds like fun. Right, because it is, a, I don't know, it's not really a lifestyle. It's a life choice to choose Jesus Christ, the Lord and your Savior, that's for sure. That one's for sure. And uh, it's a pretty good life choice, to be honest with you. Hmm. Yeah. Truth is, I just yawned. Not good. <laughs> Not good. All right, guys. So my broadcast has begun. My broadcast has begun. So that means let's get rolling here. So I am. I know, right? Stop it. <laughs> it's been a long day. You don't know what I had to go through. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Oh, what do you mean my status is unknown for you now? Come on. Statuses are not supported for that platform. Okay, well, th thank you, you know. <laughs> you know, you know, you know, I know, I know, you know. I know most of you guys do. So, guys, uh, thank you so much for joining. My name is Jason Wallace. I am Jason Wallace. I am a believer and follower of Jesus Christ. I am a prayer warrior and an intercessor. That means I'll pray for you. I am a Bible reader. <laughs> I am a Bible reader. I am a devoted husband and father. I'm a child of God. I'm a new creation in Christ. I am a citizen of heaven. <clears throat> I am a member of Christ's body. I am a friend of Christ. I am righteous and holy. And I am a bozo because I never turned on... <laughs> I never turned on live.me. So, the guys at live.me, you guys are going to let's do it all over again. Welcome, welcome. Let's see here. Let's go tap this thing here. Gets that one going. All right, here we go. Live.me. One, three, two, one. Go live. It's oh, go. Nope, we got to do a Facebook. Matt, there we go. Facebook status update. Now we're going to go. Three, two, one. Go, go, go. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining. We're going to do my introduction all over again just because uh, I forgot to do it. So, um, welcome, welcome. Bubbles, thanks for joining. Guys, Dave Rice, thank you for Jana's. Jana. Hannah's in the house. All right. Nobody over on you now tonight. It's kind of interesting. Um, so, I am Jason Wallace. I'm a believer and follower of Jesus Christ. I'm a prayer warrior, an intercessor. I'm a Bible reader. I am a... Uh, I'm a devoted husband and father. I am a child of God. I'm a new creation in Christ. I'm a citizen of heaven. I am a member of Christ's body. I am a friend of Christ. I am righteous and holy. 
and I am a very proud member of the Jesus Did It family. And so guys, if you get a chance, head on over to the JesusDidIt.org website and take a look at all the cool, cool stuff that we have going, going on over there. Um, there is the um, affirmation sheet, so a lot of those I am statements I just read, they're right there. You guys on this step platform can't see that. Um, actually, you know what? I can't I'll just flip the screen. We'll just do it that way. There you guys go. Switch the camera. There we go. See? There it is. Right there. Right there is the affirmation sheet. And you can download that thing. There is um, some great, great broadcasters right there. Um, that's all the Jesus Did It broadcasters. And then um, you can pick up a hoodie. A sweatshirt, t-shirt, coffee mug, uh, Pastor Rick Costa's new book, all kinds of great, great stuff going on there. And uh, you guys got to see a little bit of the behind the scenes. Um, let me flip my screen back over here. All right, there you go. And um, yeah, that beauty mode really like makes my face look interesting. All right, so um, interesting. All right, so um, yes, that is Jesus Did It website. Please make sure you check it out. Uh, there's some great great stuff there over on periscope my periscope friends my periscope friends remember we're doing a five broadcast uh, stream here so we're doing um live.me youtube uh, facebook uh, now you now and um periscope and twitch so we're doing lots of broadcast to lots of different platforms the same message and so um just wanted to uh specifically speak to my periscope peeps um periscope peeps that's right man five broadcasts Lower your shirt you like a shirt there we go there my savior is tougher than nails that's for sure and uh, um <clears throat> so yeah five broadcasts so going with my peeps over on periscope i just want a brother man video central what's up my friend how are you doing um on twitch um, so guys over there on Periscope, please help me. I need replays, please. Uh, replays on Periscope are very helpful because it allows us to be able to um, accept um, the the, um, the super broadcaster status. So if we can get 75 replays, that would be really, really, really cool because then we can collect on that. On all those super hearts that you guys have so graciously given me. And so I know it's like a broken record, and I'm so sorry for doing that, but um, I just need your help. So, and then with that money, if there was any money that was to be made from that, then I would be able to bring that money and um, buy a new computer so we can actually let the stream work good. As you guys noticed, um, the, uh, the download, for some reason, has been not so good. So I'm not sure if my laptop's starting to go. So this other stuff that we're doing is... Um, is um we're doing it through a service so i only send one stream up so i know i'm not stressing out my internet connection so um because i'm only doing two streams up i'm doing facebook and then i'm streaming everything else out through through a different stream service so it's offloaded so it was really only two streams and before i was i was doing like four streams right off of there you've sinned what should you do man you should repent get down on your knees pray to the lord jesus christ for your uh, salvation man say you've sinned tell him you've sinned get into his word let him help you uh, help you figure out what it is that you need to know right how to do what how to pray it's pretty easy stick around man we'll show you because we're gonna do it here in a couple minutes we're gonna we're gonna pray what's up cherry herb thank you so much for joining over there if you don't like getting on your knees well then don't get on your knees I don't know you know whatever you need to do there's some people that you know for a second. Nice, nice, nice. That's good trolling. That's good trolling. You led me into it, but uh, I'm I'm pretty good at this. I've been doing this for a little while. So um, tell you, I'm gonna do from here on out. Um, one of your thank you so much. Yeah, because we need to we need to be able to get a new computer. My computer is from 2000. Am I okay? I'm all right, Roblox. I am just fine. You know why? Because I got Jesus Christ in my heart, man. That's all I need. That's all I need. Um, you do not want to. Nice. <laughs> That's good. Hey, listen. If we didn't, if we didn't get, if we didn't get one troll at, at at night, I would be surprised. And so there we go. Oh, we need to change my title. Or do I? Why do I need to change my title? What does my title say? I can tell you what my title says. 
my title says on Periscope should be reading free daily readings. That's because we read stuff. Oh no, 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 no! I'm doing a free daily reading. Why? Why does it? Why does it have to be that I'm doing a tarot card reading? Come on now, I'm doing readings, right? So guys, catch the replay. I grab the secret word over on Periscope. Email it to me and let me know what it is, and you can pick the song um, that that can be played. You're not trolling. I know you're not trolling. It's fine. Um, I wasn't exactly talking to you over there, Ghost Pixie. Thank you so much. Um, are you a believer in Jesus Christ? Um, so, yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine. People come on in. This is all it is. It's called bait. It's called bait. We have a, a very unique uh, title, and we bring people in, allow them to be able to hear the true word, the true word of, uh, of what God has said in his word. And so this is what we do. You know, we bring people in and Video Central. Thanks. Um, this is what we do because this is how we are to do it, right? God, Jesus said, Jesus said, said to everybody, <clears throat> says, written a word, go forth and make, make disciples of all nations. Guess what? Periscope Nation. Guess what? Live, live.me nation. Guess what? You now dot nation. Guess what? Facebook, Periscope, Twitch, all you guys are nations, right? And we got to get unique. We got to get unique and interesting, right? Uh, do you know the word? Of the... Do you know? Oh, I don't know. I'm going to shut the lights off there. Oh, uh, I'm going to go shut the lights off. Apparently, I left the lights on. Um, <clears throat> so, there, Pastor Shazia from Pakistan, thank you so much for joining. All right, so guys, uh, make sure you catch that replay. Now, listen. If you catch a replay, you play a song, right? You pick a song, or if you're on the Smuel app, you can sing a song with me. Um, reading something, I'm confused. Listen, it's it's called bait. It's called bait. I have a very unique title that uh, that brings people in. And how else how else would we be able to bring other people in that that would normally not hear the word of God? How would we be able to entice them in, other than bring them in and let them show show Let's show our fruit, right? Show our fruit. Prove that Christians are good people, and we're just not judgy people slamming Bibles against people's heads, right? Because that's not what we do. It's not. It's not what we should be doing, right? It's not my place to judge. It's not my place to do any of that. It's my place to share the word of God with everybody who is comes in there. So we show our love exactly, and that's how we do it. And uh, and you know what? Some people have stayed. Some people stayed and listened to the broadcast and uh, heard the word of God. You know what? Man, it'd be great. Princess Diana, thank you so much for sharing uh, your uh, super hearts with me. That is so spectacular. Christian, man, Christian, absolutely. Uh, if you're gay, can you be a Muslim? I don't know. I don't know about Muslims and gays. They don't like that. They like throw the, they throw the, they throw the gay people off the top of roofs and stuff. It's horrible. You know. I'm not, I'm not down for that. So you're gay, you're gay. That's your problem. You know, I shouldn't say your problem. That is your situation, right? It's not my situation. It's not my situation. You have to worry about. Um, and I'm gonna love you just like you, you. You're straight. It don't matter to me, right? Uh, if you know, you're still a human being. You still should. You still still should be treated with respect, right? And um, and especially. You know, and, and that's your and it's your your position. It's not my place to judge you, right? But when it comes to time, you know, if you're not if you're not there, busy in church services and sharing the word of God, Amen, Amen. That's right. It's no different, no different than a liar. Exactly. I'm 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 still gonna treat you the same way. If you stole from me, I would still treat you the same way, right? If you you know what I mean, like sin's a sin. It doesn't matter what it is, right? And, um, but it's not my place to sit there and go, you're a sinner, beat you over the head. Listen, it's not my place to do it. It's not my place. There's only one, there's only one judge that sits on the mighty throne. And we all know who that is. And if you don't repent, and if you don't you know, turn away from the sin, if you don't um, accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior, you're not going to be going there, right? You're not going to be going there. You're not going to be with 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 the rest of us. 
you know, in, in, in heaven. And, and that's, you know, that's a sad truth. But the good news is, it's real easy, real easy to turn away. <clears throat> Trust me, I did it. I was uh, not a great person. I was not a great person. People did not like me. I was kind of mean and angry about stuff a lot. But you know what? When, when God touched my heart and when the Holy Spirit took over, you know, it was like, look out. Um, I'm on fire and I've been on fire for like three years now, right? That's right, but God, because no one else can do it. I couldn't fix myself. How's Mr. Kwan doing? Mr. Kwan's awesome, dude. I haven't seen him on my broadcast lately, but he's pretty cool, dude. How, Video Central, how do you know Mr. Kwan? I didn't think Mr. Kwan was a gamer. <sighs> Pastor Rick Costa, I think you're there. You're facing court, police, stations, and still stand on faith. Amen. Amen. Because God will provide as long as he, he stands on his word, and his word is, is true. And that's what it is. All right, so let's get moving on. God in us. I can turn it. That's right. Can't turn it off. He's built it into us. His love is built into us, and uh, and that's what it is. Interesting. <clears throat> Interesting that I only have one viewer. Like last time, we had like fifty viewers on this on this web page thing on this you now, but today. It's not so good. It's not so good. But that's all right. All right, all right, all right. So you guys ready for the song for tonight? Let's do the song. Tonight's song is brought to you by replay by our friend Kayla over on Periscope. And <clears throat> she said it's my choice for a song for tonight. So, hey now, I figure I can pick a song that everybody would like. And let's see. I'm gonna find it because I know that Kayla sang a song with me. I know she did. I know she did. And I'm pretty sure it was Let Them See You and Me. There she is. You guys ready? Here we go. You guys over here on um yeah, you guys here. You guys here have to set up differently, so give me a second. Bring it. Let's bring it. Do All Star. I'm not sure what All Star is. All right, so let's put this. Let's flip this camera around. There you go. There you guys go. You can see the comments from everybody else too. And there we go. And I gotta turn. Plug the speaker back in. Un momento, por favor. We gotta plug stuff in, and then we can get moving. All right, it's been, it's been what? It's been Broughton? What's been Broughton? Thinking it's not you. So what? Uh, I'm confused. I'm confused. Although today it's not been that hard to confuse me. <laughs> it's not that been hard at all. So here we go. I'm gonna turn off my mic. We're gonna turn up the music, and we're gonna get rolling over here. Somebody said, bring it on. I know, right? Uh, do it for Pastor P. That's right, man. Pastor P is awesome. I love Pastor P. Um, <clears throat> his daily the daily deposit, right? Jason's about to raise the roof. Exactly. We're going to, man. Watch out. Better turn your speakers up because it's about ready to get, get going. Good song. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's actually showing stuff over on this one now. It wasn't doing that yesterday. There we go. I think I just muted it though. All right, cool. All right, that's perfect. Exactly what we want to do. All right, I'm gonna put the mute mute on the microphone, and we're gonna get going. So, guys, uh, here's the song picked by Kayla, sung by Kayla and me. All 
the songs you let me write tonight's song uh, picked by Kayla sung by Kayla <laughs> and uh, that's good stuff um, it's a beautiful song it is a good song it's a great song I love that that song and uh, you stayed on live till you got a hundred viewers <laughs> that's awesome um, that's interesting All right, so let's turn this back around so I can actually see me there you guys go is the words backwards on there or does it show right to you Rick I'm just interested I'm still we're still new to uh, to this live.me thing so I'm really interested to see how it looks how it acts how it is so guys yes um, live uh, the Smule app is it's correct awesome so the Smule app is um, uh, it is free uh, if you want to sing only songs with other people it's not mirrored okay I'm not sure what that means but okay um, so the Smule app is free unless you want to um, sing a song a solo 
um, or if you want to start and open up songs where people sing with you. Otherwise, um, it's $40 a year. Don't spend the money on your app, okay? Don't buy it through your app. The words are not backwards. Awesome. Um, so the uh, do not spend money. Listen to me. Don't spend the $99 a year on your app. Don't do it. Don't do it. Sign up for your account, right? Go for the free one. Hey, you know my worth. Thanks for joining. Um, stay with the free account, okay? Then go log into the web page and get it for the $40 a year. And it will work on all devices when you buy it on the website. Um, so it's not device dependent. If you buy it on the Apple phone, that Apple device, it will not go over there. Uh, ain't no thing but a chicken wing, exactly. Um, our song time is for Edwin. Edwin, we gotta do our song, man. What song are we gonna do next? We gotta pick a group song. That's what I was gonna do. I was just saying, yes, yes. Do not spend the seven dollars a month on your app. All right, because if you switch phones, it's not good, right? So if you have an Android, you ready for this? If you go on the website and get the forty dollars a year, it will cover an Android, it'll cover an Apple, it'll cover the website. So you can do that. You already spent it. Oh goodness. Next year, next year, do not spend that $99. Do not do the automatic update. I'm just saying, could you make a song uh, or do in English your kids can worship? Can we make a song in your language? In, do you want do you mean a song in English or a single? I don't know. I don't know your language too well, so we'd have to figure that out. Um, I think my, many times, but you forgot. Yeah, if you can send me an email, Pastor Cezia, we'll figure it out. We'll figure something out. Sure. <clears throat> you know, I'm not a professional singer by the, any stretch of it. But guys, thanks so much for supporting uh, in mix uh, or do in English. Oh, that would be interesting. Yeah, if you signed up, you could sing it. Yeah, because you know what? Actually, I've seen people sing in uh, Hindi. I've seen people sing in Hindi. Good night, Li Minister Lisa Hatterley. Uh, get some rest. And some sleep and uh, get on that phone oh no they're closed tomorrow so you won't be able to call Monday morning uh, Monday's President's Day so you probably won't be able to call Monday either Captain Obvious joined listen we got Captain Obvious over here on live.me guys just saying um so thanks for joining um so guys thanks so much on Periscope for all the replays you guys are awesome and for all the platforms, thank you so much for all the hearts, invites, follows, shares, thumbs ups, uh, likes, the little happy faces, whatever it may be. Um, thank you so much for supporting um, this ministry and the Jesus Did It uh, family. So I do appreciate you guys. Yes, I do appreciate you guys so much. Oh, well, listen, we got Wolverine over here, Rick. Rick, you got Wolverine right in it. Yep, you just stepped in the house. 212 like chicken 212 thanks for the points or something you gave awesome awesome you guys are great so um that is that so now to get into our reading and i got it broken it's broken just just saying i broke it it's broken let's see if i can get it fixed real quick before we move on and that way it won't be broken anymore all right, let's do this, Bible verses, and Ezra 1. Here we go, guys. So Ezra chapter 1, okay. Uh, Cyrus helps <coughs> the exiles to return. So Ezra, we're in a new book, guys. New books, grab your Bibles, Ezra chapter 1. The what? I ain't reading no chapter 119, the whole chapter. You're out of your mind there, Craig. Um, in the first year of Cyrus, the king of Persia, in order to fulfill the word of the Lord spoken by Jeremiah, the Lord moved the heart of Cyrus, the king of Persia, to make a proclamation throughout his throughout his realm, and uh, and also to put in writing. This is what Cyrus, the king of Persia, says: The Lord, the God of heaven, has given me all the kingdoms of the earth, and He has appointed me to build a temple for Him at Jerusalem in Judah. Any of his people among you may go up to Jerusalem and Judah and build the temple of the Lord. The God of Israel, the God of <clears throat> who is in Jerusalem, 
and may be their God, uh, be with them. And in any and in any locality where survivors may now be living, the people, <clears throat> the people are to provide them with silver and gold, with goods and livestock, and with freewill offerings for the temple of the God in Jerusalem. Then the family heads of Judah and Benjamin and the priests and the Levites, everyone whose heart, uh, whose heart God had moved, prepared to go up and build the house of the Lord in Jerusalem. All of their neighbors assisted, assisted them with articles of silver and gold, with goods and livestock and valuable gifts, in addition to all their free will offerings. Moreover, the king Cyrus um, brought out the articles belonging to the temple of the Lord which Nebuchadnezzar had carried away from Jerusalem and had placed in the temple of his God. Cyrus the king of Persia had them brought to uh, Mith, Mith, was it? Mithradath, the treasurer, who counted them out in uh, Shehazabazar, Shez, Shezbazar, Shezbazar, the prince of Judah. I think I said it right, Sheshbazar. Shes, yeah, something like that. That's a long name. The prince of Judah. Uh, this was the inventory. Gold dishes, 30. Silver dishes, 1,000. Silver pans, 29. Gold bowls, 30. Matching silver bowls, 410. Other articles, 1,000. In all, there were 5,400 articles of gold and silver. Shesha Bazaar, Shesh Bazaar, Shesh Bazaar, something like this, and brought, brought these along with the exiles when they came up from Babylon to Jerusalem. That is chapter 1 of Ezra that we are done with tonight. So, so that was our free reading. For those of you guys who are wondering about the free readings, there is your free readings, okay? And we're going to do some more free readings here as well. Your free readings are very, 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 very written by God through his word. All right. Krish Oris 90, thank you for watching. I do appreciate you for joining. And um, anywhere else that people are joining, I thank you so much for being here on this broadcast. We do a five broadcast stream, Facebook, YouTube, um, Twitch, Periscope, um, Live.me, and um, you now. So we do a whole bunch of broadcasts and we just thank you guys for all for showing it. Listen, Chicken says he's taking my copy of the book. I don't think so. Gotta go get a new one. This one's almost done. Did anybody else get their new one? I got my new one. Did you get your new one? New one, new one. All right, check it out. You might be able to get it at your church. It's called the Our Daily Bread. That's a free publication. All right, you might be able to get it at your church. If not, check it out. They got an app, so you can get an app. Boom, boom, boom. Or you can get it from their website right down there. All right, now you're waiting. You're waiting. There you go. And so, um, uh, or you can just come here every night, and we'll read it for you, right? So you take your choice. Whatever you like, it's fine. It's fine. You missed it. Put Peach to bed. You miss what? You miss nothing. You're okay. It's all good. It's all good. So, for Friday, February 16th, the title is Loving All. Hmm. All right, this is written by Leslie Cole. Cole, yeah, KOH. That's you on number two. That's not good. That's not good at all. I need more juice. I'll take care of it. <clears throat> what is the app? Never heard the word called app. Okay, Craig. Very interesting. Yeah, Ezra. It was the first one anyways, Kayla. It's all right. It's just talking about the gold that's being returned from the ne ne that Nebuchadnezzar uh, uh, stole. So, that um, Shesha Bazaar, I think his name is. I can't say his name right. Shesh Bazaar. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah. So, the title is Loving All. All right. Um, I worship in a church located in a large open field, a rare commodity on the island of Singapore, where just 25 miles long and 50 miles wide. Some time back, people from abroad who work in my country started together on, on, the, uh, on the church property for a picnic every Sunday. 
They, this invoked a range of responses from fellow churchgoers. Some fretted about the mess the visitors would leave behind, while others uh, saw it as a divine opportunity to extend hospitality to a wonderful group of strangers uh, without even leaving the church grounds. The Israelites must have faced similar issues in, the in their time. After they settled in their new land, they had, to, they had to grapple with how to relate to the other peoples. But God expressly, expressly commanded them to treat foreigners like their own kind and to love them as themselves. Many of his laws made special mention to foreigners. They were not to be mistreated or oppressed, and they were to be loved and helped. Centuries later, Jesus would command us to do the same, to love your neighbor as ourselves. May we have God's heart to love others as ourselves, remembering that we too are so sojourners, sojourners on this earth, um, yet we have been loved as God's people, treated as his own. Amen. A prayer for today says, Father, you have made each and every one of us in your likeness. May we love those who from elsewhere and seek to reach out to them with your love. And the footnote says, embracing God's love for us is the key to loving others. Amen. Today's reading was from Leviticus chapter 19, verses 33 through 34. And the, uh, the key verse for today is Leviticus chapter 19, verse 34. The foreigner residing among you must be treated as your native born. Love them as yourself. Boom, boom, boom. God's word. What do you guys think about that? What do you think about that? Treating your foreigner, treating foreigners, treating others. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. I really do. You know, and uh, and that's uh, definitely Hallelujah is right. So. Um, we got all of our free readings done tonight. That includes Mexico, yeah. That includes Canada. That includes everywhere, right? You know, we don't need to be treating other people differently. The only problem is, and this is what we want to make sure, okay? So God made nations, right? He made the 12 nations to start with. And uh, the 12 nations of his people. So we have to understand is that, that God wants us to be in nations, right? To be governed um, and to have rules. So the one thing we have to remember is, is that the rules are there for a reason. So if people are breaking the rules, they're coming over the borders for no reason other than they're not following the rules, then they need to be, uh, you know, they need to follow the rules just like the rest of us. Otherwise, why bother having rules? Why bother having government? You know, we're just going to be a lawless people and, uh, and, uh, and we're going to, you know, so definitely. JR, thank you so much for joining. Listen, we can get started now. JR's here. <laughs> Jerry, look at having some problems, man. You all right, dude? You missed the song. You missed Kayla singing, dude. Just saying, Kayla was singing on um, the song with me tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll have to catch a replay, my friend. Looks like he's here now. His head's like, yes, you missed it, dude. <laughs> Maybe we'll play it again. Maybe we'll play it again. Maybe we'll play it again. What do you think? Should we have a little bit of grace? He was probably busy doing work or something, you know? Probably was. You know, no one JR, he's always working. Or he was at the gym. Were you at the gym? Do you even lift, bro? <laughs> I love that guy that comes into Pastor Rick Costa's broadcast and does drops that. Do you even lift, bro? And he catches him a couple times. He caught him a couple times, too. He gets Pastor Rick Costa to say that. <laughs> <clears throat> um, but yeah, so guys, have any? No, you're on a computer. On the computer working, man. See, you're working. You're working. Guys, have any prayer requests or praise reports? And that includes you too, guys, over there on you now. Thanks so much for joining. It must be a busy night over there. I'm gonna have to get more onto that app and and figure out some stuff with it to make sure. Um, you know, I gotta make some friends over there too. I'm pretty sure there's some people that love Jesus over there. I am pretty sure. Actually, it looks kind of like low numbers tonight for most people. 
This looks like there's about the top, the top uh, ten, the top ten over there. They're barely breaking 800 viewers each. So 800, 500, 600, 100, 884, yeah, 800, 900. It's a lot of viewers. <clears throat> and you're going to go look into it also. Yeah, it seems like a nice app. Um, and uh, we're going to check it out. I'm going to check it out a little bit more and uh, see what it's all about. Uh, your prayer, your prayer, the Lord will in your life at this time. Uh, your prayer. Lord's will in my life at this time and month. I think I'm getting it right. I think I'm getting it right. Let me make sure I got it right. Lord Heavenly Father, we just lift up our friend Hannah tonight, Lord. And we just ask that you you give her um you give her the the, the knowledge and give her it's a very important moment right now. Lord we just ask that you give her the direction and the and guidance, Lord. Give her uh, any knowledge that she might need to be able to uh, to move forward. Lord, we just ask for for you to be able to help her make uh, the uh, a smart the smart decision that you want her to do. What you want her to do in her life. Lord, we just lift lift her up, and you know what that request is, Lord. And we don't need to know what it is, but you do know what it is. And Lord, we just ask if it is your will that uh, that your um, really this one guy's gonna make me block him. Lord, we just uh, we lift him up. We, we lift up um, our friend Hannah, and we just uh, we ask you to give her just knowledge and peace and comfort, Lord, and give her just give her uh, uh, discernment and the direction on what you want her to do. In Jesus' mighty and powerful name, we pray. Amen. And amen. This guy over here wrote some bad stuff. You know, now I gotta flag him, and block him out, and report him for saying something bad. No, I hate doing that, but you just can't come in and drop the N word in my broadcast. I just, I'm, I will not put up with it. Sorry, I just will not put up with it. There's certain words that just drive me nuts, and that's one of them. So, thank you. You're welcome for coming here, but this ain't gonna happen. All right. Cynthia Joy, thank you so much for joining over on there on uh, the live.me. And I'm going to report that too because it's just not right. It's offensive conduct. Oh, feel free to add. I don't need to add anymore. You guys can go look at the word. That was a bad word. Man, you know, you just don't do it. Don't do it. We're not, we're not here to be offensive to other people. That's for sure. Sorry guys, I need to play a little clean house over here. So hopefully it's not clicking. So for some reason it's not clicking. It's just stuck. Uh, moderator will review my submission. Thank you. I hope, I hope he does. I hope the moderator does. Guest, you please. I'm not sure what that means for sure. Um, at least a troll with some... At, at, at least troll with some respect. Exactly. Well, don't drop the N-word. That's just bad. You know, have some respect. Yeah, I was surprised over on the UNOW app, actually. Um, but it seems to be we get one troll night over on there. So, it's kind of like Periscope. Same thing, right? Got a bunch of great people, and then there's the one. <laughs> and there's the one. But that's alright. So, uh, thanks so much for all the hearts, the super hearts, all of you guys' invites and follows and shares. Um, out to Facebook and, and on YouTube and thumbs up and, and all of your uh, different different uh, things that you guys do. It is awesome and I appreciate you guys so much for doing that. Because um, we need to we need to share the word of God and that's what we're here to do. So guys, have any prayer requests, um, praise reports? I'm pretty sure we got you, um, uh, Hannah. I'm pretty sure we got your prayer request. Uh, down pat so hopefully I got it right and if I didn't please let me know because I want to make sure that I honor you with the, with the prayer um, that uh, that you're expecting that we're gonna pray to our Lord for right because that's what we do we all we all lift up the collectively corporate corporate okay no problem thank you so much and so we corporately 
corporately, all of us, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, all of us, all of us are the ones to lift up these prayers, right? Because God wants to hear our hearts. He wants to hear our, our, you know, our, our hopes, our dreams, our wishes, right? He wants to hear them. We don't need to be making any, you know, any, any, you know, crossing our fingers and stuff like that. No, we don't need all that. You know what we need? We need Jesus, right? I know it seems like a very churchy answer, but we need Jesus, and that's what we need. So, definitely, as long as we have Jesus in your heart, there's nothing, there's nothing that can stop you. Nothing. Nothing. Unless God says, stop, right? Unless he says, stop, time to slow down. Uh, we are the champions of the word, exactly. And we want to make sure we share that word with every single person. And to understand, to help other people understand that uh, we're... Christians aren't those, uh, you know, those judgy people that beat people over the head with Bibles and, you know, call them all kinds of names. I mean, it's kind of like, it's kind of like you're, you know, um, you know, do as I say, not as I do. And, and you know, you're, you're sitting there going, you know, telling somebody that they shouldn't uh, be hateful, they shouldn't be doing this, they shouldn't be doing that. Meanwhile, you're being hateful and judgy and everything else you know it's kind of uh it's kind of like you're fooling yourself there and what do they call it an oxymoron is that what that is i just look at how many trolls ask about gay in churches exactly you know why because people people are so afraid of the truth and, and really what's what it is people are just afraid of the truth and you know what all i can say is that we will say what the truth is if someone asks, I'll tell you the truth. Jesus says it. You know, Jesus says it. I'm going to believe it. You know, sexual sin is, is sexual sin, no matter which way you look at it. But I'm also going to follow the other words that Jesus said. Right? Jesus said, love your neighbor as yourself. Right? Love your Lord. <laughs> love your Lord your God with all your mind, heart, and soul. Right? And love your neighbor just as you love, love, your, love your God. And that is, um, that's the commandment. That's the, the, that is the greatest commandment and one that is just as much as important, right? Is what he said. We can go pull it out. We can actually read the words, right? Because you know, we know the words. Angry cheese. That's a pretty cool name. Thanks for joining. Um, praise report for all the GDI, uh, Greenbeard tribe, uh, grateful chick and Christian. Thanks so much, man. You know, that, this is what it is. Let's spend some time with each other. Hey, Kim. Thanks for joining. Hello. How's it going, man? I hope you're uh, you're doing well. Or, woman, I don't know. I haven't been able to click on your thing. So you don't got a picture. All it says is Hellraiser or something, right? I think. Um, how's it going, Kim? How is the, how's the weather down the road 30 minutes away from me? <laughs> I don't know, it's supposed to be getting colder tonight, so hopefully, hopefully not too bad. The salt of the roads, they like, they like the salt and the sand, like, so they're expecting, like, uh, I think they're expecting some uh, ice tonight or something. I <laughs> know, right? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, some pretty cool stuff, too. Our friends over on Periscope. Periscope is, um, guys, get ready to, um, to, uh, moderate some comments because I have a feeling it might be on its way um I'm well man I'm well anger cheese it's all good man we're, we're here we're, we're we're praising we're praying we're we're worshiping we're we're digging into God's word and we're just uh we're sharing love with everybody man so uh thanks for joining I appreciate you guys coming on here and sharing love so yeah, yeah I'm not sure exactly what's going on with uh with all that you're angry what are you angry for, man? I'm not angry. I used to be angry all the time. That's I'll tell you right now. That was my that's my testimony. God changed me. Changed me. Um, he changed me because I was angry too. People didn't like me. I actually had people that were quitting, quitting working with me. Like they didn't want to work with me. They they didn't want to work with me so much that they quit. They quit their job to go work somewhere else because. I was so angry and mad at them. So, 
Listen, God can do a mighty change in me. He can do a mighty change in you too. All you gotta do is just uh, start start praying and asking, right? Well, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. I don't know what to say about that. It's kind of not my uh, kind of not my not my lane, so to speak. Um, but I can say this: if you do have songs, right, come to Jesus. That's a good song too, isn't it? A good song. Maybe we should do that song for the for the. Um, so guys, uh, uh, we're on the Smule app, by the way. Okay, on the Smule app. Get on the Smule app. You can come sing along with me. We're gonna do a group song, and uh, it don't matter. It don't matter. You doubt that? What? Jesus, Jesus, listen, man. If <laughs> if Jesus can change my heart. He can change anybody's heart. If he can change the heart of a drug addict um, and and someone who just hated him, right, and now put him in a position where he is he is, uh, um, you know, he's he's you know like a a leader of a group, right, of of a Christian group, right. If uh, if he can take someone who is 12 years old. Right, who was suicidal, and um, and and wasn't uh, you know had no cares to live, and uh, and change him around, and make him a pastor of an online church. If he can take someone who um, was overweight and help them lose 120 pounds and uh, also make her uh, uh, a really great broadcaster on on on, uh, on on Periscope, he can help you, certainly. And listen, if you think God doesn't like you, God loves you. You want to know how much God loves you? He sent his only son, his own, his own. He came here in flesh and blood for us, right? to take on, you know, his intentions were to come show us how to be, but you know what, he already knew it, he already knew it, that the only way that he would be able to get people to change their minds and change their hearts is to, is to come here and to die on the cross for you, can you believe that someone died for you, man, he died for you, if that's not love, I don't know what is, right, who, who, there's no greater, there's no greater love than to die for a, a fellow, you know, a fellow human being, right? So, if you think, <laughs> that's right, he'll lead you to it. You'll hear the words, and you'll understand that, that you are valued, that you are, and you ready for it? I'm going to get into it. I'm going to get into it. If you go to JesusDidIt.org, you can go and click a link there. It's going to take you to some affirmations, okay? And those affirmations, it's going to tell you a couple things. It's going to It's going to tell you, that you are chosen, you are redeemed, you are a child of God, you are loved, you are a citizen of heaven, you're righteous and holy, you know what, you're a child of God, uh, those words are written, all those words, plus many, many more, are written in the Bible about you. About how much he loves you. So don't ever think that God does not like you. And guys, on the rest of the broadcast, I'm so sorry for, for, uh, for, for, you know, diverting attention to one person. But we know we have to help out a brother or sister who is not feeling well, right? Who, who, who doesn't, who feels like they need help with understanding that, that they need, that they need to be brought in, into at least shown love, right? So if we can show you love and let you know that the words that are written in this book, all right, the words that are written in this book are God's love story for you, right? This is his love story, right? From beginning to end. He created us because he was lonely, right? He created us because he wanted to have, uh, you know, a, a, a relationship with, with us. You know what? You know, could you imagine being the, the the God of the universe, 
being the only you know thing that the only entity that is is there could you imagine that could you imagine being so lonely that you didn't have anybody there and then what and then he created us and he said listen i'm not gonna make them robots i'm not gonna make them where they're gonna be um you know not being able to think and act and do for themselves well you know he gave us a brain to be able to use it and some people take that right and we all sin unfortunately you know um, it's temptation temptation right so through fallenness right through fallen through a fallen angel basically right to to here to this fallen place right where where the devil runs 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 so much stuff and we here have to be the light in that darkness we have to know that in this word in this book is the answers to every single problem that we ever have is in here right you know what it's in here whenever <laughs> that's amazing whenever I start having a problem where's the first thing I go I start going digging into his word because he's gonna reveal to you what it is that he need that he needs to direct you to right to to the words that, that are going to help you through it and that is uh that is um that, that's the truth so um listen i want I, I want you i'm gonna follow you angry cheese and i want to uh i want to make sure you you understand that um uh, that's uh 1986 cult of angry cheese hardcore twitch all right well we're on twitch too come on back Come on back every night, man. So I'm not asking you to do much. Just come on back and uh, and share some time with us, and we will definitely share some time with you, and we'll um, we'll help you through it, right? Why God didn't save the 17 acres? Um, I don't know. You tell me. Is who who comes to kill, steal, and destroy? Right? Who comes to kill, steal, and destroy? And why does everybody gotta come up with that same question, right? Why why God didn't save it? Um, did you ask? Did you ask him? Did you pray to him and ask him why he didn't save him? I don't have the answers. I don't have all the answers. Don't know. Anybody else want to take a stab at that answer? I, I'm. I'm kind of out of out of steam right now, so, um, and he's probably gone out of the broadcast anyways. Do you have prayer requests? I'll take prayer requests. We can do that. Absolutely. We're going to pray for our friend Angry Cheese, though, too. Um, Lord, Heavenly Father, we just ask that you, you make a way for our friend Angry Cheese, Lord. Lord, we just ask that you, um, that you lift up this person and, uh, you show them, whisper in, in their ear, uh, give them a dream, a vision, Lord, allow them to be able to hear and see you. That's right, make your own choice, exactly. Yeah, it's not, it's not my fault. There's a crazy person running around trying to shoot people. Um, <clears throat> and all we can do is pray for him. Um, yeah, Mr. Cheese, exactly. Yeah, we're, we, you know, Lord, we just left our friend Angry Cheese. We just, we want you to know, we want you to let him experience you, Lord. Experience the love that is in you. Lord, we ask you to do a mighty, mighty deed in him and change his view on you, Lord, and just let him draw him closer to you. Let him know that you are his Savior and that he is loved by you and that he does not have to be angry, he does not have to be hateful, he does not have to be frustrated. All he has to do is give all that frustration and anger and, and all of that over to you, Lord. And, uh, and just, Lord, we just ask this in your mighty and powerful Son's name to give him vision, to give him direction, give him guidance. And Lord, we just pray for salvation for him. In Jesus' mighty and powerful name we pray. Amen. Amen. Salvation. Anger. Your left hand hurts, my friend. What's up with that? Lord, Heavenly Father, we lift up our friend Craig tonight, Lord. We just, uh, 
We command healing in his hand, in his left hand, Lord. Lord, we command healing in his left hand. Hey, Brittany, thank you for joining. Lord, we just command healing in his left hand, in Jesus' mighty and powerful name. Lord, we ask for restoration, for no more pain, uh, in Jesus' mighty and powerful name. What? Two. Healing flow, pain to go. Jesus, mighty and powerful name. Amen. And amen. Craig. Pain in the hand. Pain in your left hand. Anybody else? Prayer requests, praise reports, otherwise we're gonna we're gonna amen it. Right, excuse me. Otherwise we're gonna shut it down. Alright, as our friend Cynthia Bazin would say. Um, guys, check out the rest of the broadcasters on Periscope. Some great, great broadcasters. Um, Uh-oh, Seb just joined me on a song there. Just saying. Seb joined on another song too. What a sleep. You know, speaking of our friend Seb. Hey, Edwin, did you pick the song? What was that, what was that song that she said a word? And I was like, man, that's that's a good song. What, what, what angel? I think angel said the song. What was the song? I think I went too far. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think I went too far. Big Gruff. Thanks for joining. Interesting name. Edwin Edwin picked Take Me to the Church. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. That is funny. You forgot. Come on now, Edwin. What's up with that? We gotta pick a song. We're gonna do a group song again, man. We wanna sing. We all wanna sing together again. What song? Let's see. I thought there was another song there. <clears throat> Come to Jesus. There we go. Doom. Not a good one. Which one's that? Did I miss one? Hold on a second. Come to Jesus. Is that, but I'm thinking that the right song or the good song? Not a good one. Come to Jesus. That's, I'm going to look that song up. I'm going to write it down. We'll find the song and we'll, uh, we'll sing. I'll, 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 I'll set it up and we'll broadcast out. It'll be good. That's your favorite song, really? I'll have to go listen to it again. Oh, my thing's telling me it's time for bed. That means Becky should be on. Hopefully Miss Becky is going on soon. Becky, are you in here? It's not like she's in any of the broadcasts, so. I really need to put this coffee down. Just talking about take me to the church. Oh yeah, no, no, that's probably not a great song. No, no, <laughs> that's not a good song at all. Not for singing. We want to do a worship song, exactly. A worship song so we can praise our Lord and our Savior together uh, in a group group smule so we can broadcast that. Alright guys. I think it's time to shut it down. Becky's sleeping? She might be. She actually might be. That's a good possibility. But I hope she was I hope she decided to go on because I, I told her to. Um Alright, alright, alright. Play it. What are we playing? I don't know what we're playing right now. I don't have it recorded. I do have some new songs, some other new songs now recorded. So guys, make sure you catch a replay over there on Periscope. Grab a replay. We need to get 75, 75 broadcast, 75 replay broadcasts on Periscope, so we can become a super broadcaster. Bingo, bingo. Exactly. All right, all right, all right. So we have prayers. We have a song to pick already. So we're gonna work on that one. Work on. It. I know you guys are so faithful, and I so thank you so much for helping. Um, and listen, it's not a big. It's, I mean, it's not a big deal. If if God has it planned for us, right? If it is His will, uh, then it'll happen. I don't need to worry about it. I don't need to worry about it. It's all good. So I've got Big Gruff, thanks for coming back again. Uh, we appreciate you coming on the broadcast. All right, so um, that is the song. Now, guys, um, let's see. Up next, our friend 
at Becky1212. Well, that's it. That's the third yawn. It means it's time to go to bed. Third yawn means it's time to go to bed. So, <clears throat> um, so guys, make sure you're catching at Becky1212 over on Periscope. She will be on. I would. I thought she'd be on already, but I didn't see her little thing come up and go. So I don't know. No, that was yawn three, Edwin. Yawn number three. That means it's time for bed. Yeah, when we hit three yawns, we gotta shut it down because it's just. It's just not good. It's just not good at all. I mean, it's live, you know. So we're gonna have stuff like that, but. Yeah. It's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. Yawning. Oh, that's your third yawn. Okay, good. Good. Well, there you go. I just gave you one. So, <laughs> um, yeah. No, like, no problems. Nothing until I sit down and I start reading, and all of a sudden we get a little tired, right? It happens the whole day. Just sort of comes down, hits you. So, stay strong, stay connected, be blessed. Exactly, Warrior Dave. Absolutely. Um. So, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this journey from Genesis to Revelation, one chapter at a time. We are in the book of Ezra, and that's a pretty far in the Bible, I'll tell you right now. You know how far that is? That is pretty much, if I'm looking at just page-wise, that is almost halfway. I'm looking at the little... Alright, that's almost halfway. We're getting close. We're getting real, real close <clears throat> to um, to being halfway. That is spectacular. And remember, we started this on December 2nd, uh, 2016. So we've been going a year and a couple months. And, um, and it's, it's been a good journey. And we take our time, right? We want to absorb the word. We want to make sure we we understand it, and um, not just you know quickly read it and move on. Um, it's been that's the whole reason why I came on and started broadcasting was so I can be faithful and read um, and read the Bible every night. And I know that you should be spending alone time. And I know that we should be doing that, but um, forcing yourself to 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 um, you know, forcing yourself to do that is is sometimes hard, right? And so, um, you know, we just come on here and we do it, right? We read the word, we we read the devotional, and we spend time. We pray for people. I believe that's what God has asked me to do: is to pray for people. Uh, right, Cindy? <laughs> I think she's over here on uh, Live Me. So. Um, I just wanted to mess with it. <laughs> it's all good. Guys, thank you so much again. I do appreciate you for all the invites, follows, and shares, all the likes, all the, um, the hearts, all the super hearts, all the, just all the love. You know what I mean? Uh, allowing me to be able to pray for other people is very humbling and very honoring. And I do thank you so much for, for allowing me to be able to lift up your prayers. Right, so we can corporately pray to our God. And, and also the worship now, right? The worship, the, the singing, the song, and the likes, right? Absolutely. All the tweets and retweets and Facebook shares and all that other stuff. You guys are awesome. And I just thank you so much. And, you know, we're doing worship now, which is something I never, ever, ever would have thought I'd be doing. I never thought that I would be singing on a karaoke app, number one. And let alone playing it for other people to hear. Like, that just blows my mind. And then you guys, to say this, say that it doesn't sound that bad, I'm just like, whoa. Blows my mind. And I do appreciate all of your, all of the love you guys share. It's just, you guys are awesome. You guys are what make um, coming on and broadcasting um, the reason for wanting to come on and do it. Right? Not to just, um, not to make, um, not to make Periscope or any of the other broadcasting platforms to be an idol for me, right? It's not. It's not about the the platform. 
It's not about the hearts. It's not about the super hearts. It's not about the, the invites and the follows and shares. It's all about Jesus, right? So this is to glorify our God. This is why I'm doing it. I'm doing it for me. If it was up for me, I probably would not be doing it, right? If it, if it was left up to me, I would not do that. Um, free version, you can invite someone to sing with them. Yes, you can sing with them. I can invite you to sing, right? It's no drama, exactly. There's no drama here. This is no drama zone. We don't want drama. We, we don't need it. Um, what, what we need is to spend time. 3,000 likes. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. Thanks so much. Oh, that's a lot of likes. And so this is what it's about, spending time with you guys, lifting up. Hey, how's it going, Narna? Thanks for joining. Nar Narna, right? Narnia, Narnia Harvey. Thanks for joining. We're uh, we're chatting over here about Jesus and reading the Bible and stuff like that. You know, pretty cool people. It's all about love and peace and God, exactly. And this is what we do. And this is, this is why I thank you guys so much. Allison Sage, what are you doing up, Navy wife? Aren't you be sleeping? Shouldn't you be sleeping? Well, shouldn't you be sleeping? Um, so guys, that's prayer requests, praise reports. Please make sure you guys over on Periscope catch the replays. Um, and so cool. The profile does not have a description. You don't have a pursuit. No, I have a uh, I can't say it, but I just friended you, fanned you, because uh, I gotta make some friends, so why not, right? I think I clicked it. I have no idea. My computer is like crawling over here. So I think it, I think it worked. I think it worked. What's the subscription? Did I say subscription? Did I say subscription? What am I saying subscription for? You just got home. I can read comments now. That I have the print is too small when it's on the right. Uh, oh, when it's there, yeah, when it's on the on the Becky thing, yeah. All right, so uh, Jesus is awesome, isn't he? All right, cool. I found it now. It actually worked. So if I clicked the little X thing, there it is. Yeah, so uh, thanks for joining. We do this every night. We're going to be on back on every night. And as long as the technology will allow me to be able to broadcast to five different places, five different broadcasts, all right, all at one time, we're doing simulcast to um, you now. We're doing it to uh, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Periscope, um, Live.me. And uh, there's someone else I'm probably forgetting. Um, uh, so that's fine, right? So yeah, we're doing this every night to uh, to be able to uh, share the love of Jesus Christ with everybody. Check out JesusDidIt.org, guys. JesusDidIt.org is a good resource uh, for you to be able to follow all of us um, uh, Jesus Did It broadcasters, and uh, and also to follow along um, in the Facebook group. We have a Facebook group. You guys can join in. Um, it's going to ask you a question when you want to join. Um, uh, it's going to ask you what your Periscope username is, but you can just put your you now username or or something like that. You can join in our group with a prayer request and, and praise reports and all kinds of stuff in there. So bless you too, Daryl Arnaz. Thanks so much for joining. All right, guys. So because is Jr. still here? Is Jr. Jr. still here? Is he still here? Jr. Wake up, man. Wake up. Wake up, GR. You ready, man? Alright, we're gonna. Families in town? Yeah, for Carrie's wake, mass is tomorrow. Alright, great. Lord Heavenly Father, we just lift up uh, Liz and her family, Lord. We just lift her up and her family, Lord. We just ask that you give them peace and comfort. Thanks, I reached level 6 over on. Um, there, over there, over there on uh, live.me. Lord, we just lift up uh, our friend Liz and her family, Lord. Allow them to be able to, uh, to uh, uh, um, this, this, allow them to be able to celebrate Carrie's life tomorrow, Lord, and be able to um, not grieve um, over the loss, but to celebrate, um, celebrate her life, 
Lord, and uh, just let them have great and sweet memories of, of Carrie. And Lord, we just ask that you um, that, that you allow the, the family to uh, to get along, for for them to uh, to to just uh, share your love to each other. Lord, allow them to be able to um, uh, just just be able to um, um, get through the 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 the, the mass and the and and the and the funeral tomorrow. Lord, we ask this in your mighty and powerful Son's name. We pray. Amen. Amen. Comfort, exactly. Comfort, Lord. Comfort her and her family. Liz. There we go. We're going, we're going over time, but that's all right. Prayers are important, and we want to make sure that we honor every person with our prayer request, no matter who they are and what they're asking for prayer for, right? Yep. Liz. She's over on Live Stop Me. So, Liz. All right. We have something about a knee. Who had a knee? Someone have a knee? Listen, we don't mess with knees. Pray for your left knee real quick. It hurts bad. Lord, Heavenly Father, we lift up Kayla tonight, Lord. Lord, we command healing. Oh, we command healing in her left knee, Lord. In Jesus' mighty and powerful name. Lord, we command healing to flow and for pain to go out of her knee. In Jesus' mighty and powerful name we pray. Amen and amen. Becky's on. Alright guys, make sure you catch Becky at Becky1212 on Periscope. Congratulations, you're one of the top fans. There you go, Cynthia. Um, Kayla, 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 Why, Ellen? Uh, hey, Atheist, the Atheist10292, thanks for joining. Um, God bless you too. Guys, head on over to Periscope. Alright, um, Liz, um, Cynthia sent you a big hug. All right, so we're going to play uh, Kayla singing with me over here. My uh, guys, stick out. Or we can go catch Becky, uh, definitely. Um, but we're going to play the song uh, that we played tonight again on our way out. So, guys, thanks so much for joining. I love you guys. Let's pray. Lord, Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this time tonight, Lord. We thank you for... Um, for, we thank you for us to be able to lift up all these prayers we, we lift up to you tonight, Lord. And we just thank you. And, and we ask that you receive these prayers in Jesus' mighty and powerful name. And Lord, we ask that it is your will that they be completed and done. In Jesus' name we pray. And Lord, we thank you so much for your Son who came here on this earth and walked for 33 years to show us what a perfect and holy and sinless human being is supposed to look like. And Lord, you took all of our sin up on the cross when you died. When you died for us, for our sin, you took away all of our sin. And Lord, your blood, your blood ran for us. You died for us. And then you were buried and rose again three days later, fulfilling the prophecy that you are the Messiah, that you are the one to take away the sins of the world, that you are the only one who's ever conquered death. And Lord, as you ascended to heaven, you said that you would return again one day. And Lord, as we patiently wait for the time of your return, we worship you and honor you and give you thanks forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Yeah, how would I respond to the shootings, especially the recent shootings? All I can say is that this land, and this we'll, we'll, we'll get into the song in a second, um, this land, this, this earth that we live on, is not controlled, right? It's not controlled by, by, you know, it's not, we're not robots, right? We're not all robotic. And it is written in the Bible that in the end times that uh, people will become lawless and there will be more um, harm and more hurt and more um, disasters and more things that um, that are, are you know destructive um, because um, the forces of evil will um, will be taking over this place and this is this is this is the devil's dominion this is his area Right? He comes to kill, steal, and destroy. You know, God is a creator. He created all this. And the devil hates it. He hates us. He hates this creation. He hates everything about it because God made it. Right? And he wants to be so much like God that he will destroy things. He will force people to their minds to be twisted and be able to, to, to go and take guns and shoot other people with it. You know what? For for something that was made to 
to bring food onto the table and then for it to be used for destruction is just horrible right and 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 this is the problem this is what this is what why we are broken and sinful this is why we need Jesus this is why we need him in our lives we need we needed him to come here to save us right and without us having that that savior you know we are doomed to live a life in hell and to be honest with you I don't want to live in that hell I don't want to be there's a book that was was I was talking about with a pastor friend of mine and he said the toast this is not even toast this is an amazing thing we he read a book and basically he he explained it he said he said it written in the book and he goes if you think about it the way the Bible is written the words that are written in there um, you know it's not just that you're gonna go be thrown into a lake of fire right no listen listen incinerated yours right down to the soul is incinerated all right your soul gets incinerated is gone forever poof it was created and then it is gone forever no thanks I would much rather sit there and praise my Lord and my Savior I would much rather uh, know that I have a place where um, I will be able to live forever and you know what even if I'm wrong right even if I'm wrong I'm still being a better person right through this world I'm not over there being nasty to people anymore I'm not being angry at people I'm not you know I'm not making people quit their job anymore because I was such a jerk God changed me and, and if people say that you know that that you that you know there's no proof in that look at the proof is in the the result of, of the fruit right so when, when we you know, without Jesus we're toast we're gone it's not pretty yeah, I won't want it no thanks uh -uh. no thank you and and people you know what and I think if more people were uh, a bit more accepting of of the truth, right? Instead of always trying to fight the 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 you know always trying to fight against it, if they were to just listen and accept it, um, even even a little bit, you find out that there's so much truth is written in the Bible. It is it's not even funny how much truth is written in there. And how much prophecy has come true and how much is going to be coming true right even today so when people say about that shootings and and, and things like that in america and 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 how how do we respond to it i'm going to tell you the same thing this place is doomed and without jesus you're going to be doomed with it all right and not me I, i'm i'm going to hang out with my man jesus and we're going to chill, I'm going to praise him, I'm going to thank him, and, uh, you know, that's it, eternally, so, I hope that helps someone tonight, I, I just, I feel that, um, I feel that people need to, to, to really understand that, that, you know, and I'm not, I'm not like one of these preacher guys that's over here yelling, up, jumping up and down, screaming at me and stuff like that, you know, that there's, um, there's, different types of people for different people right and um, and and God's put me changed my life to allow me to be able to show other people that are within my field of influence right my circle of influence to be able to show them that he does make change that he does help there's guys at work that sit there and tell me they're like they're like I cannot believe that you are the same you know that you're the same guy you know that that you before you know three years ago right three years ago you were a jerk you know and and now we'll look at you you're you're caring about people you're you're you know you're showing uh, some other people who are really you know not nice people how it, how it means to be uh, you know, what it means to be a true Christian to be a true follower of Christ not just not just someone who goes to church on Sunday, right, and just occupies a seat and puts a couple bucks in the, in the dish and calls themselves holy. Um, no, I live this. This is my life. I, I don't. 
I don't ever want to go back. I don't ever want to go back to being that person because I, I was not a nice person. Um, do I miss being like that? Maybe. But you know what? I, don't, I, won't, I won't let myself go back because I know I hurt people. I know I, I made people frustrated. You know? And I will never, 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 never again, never again do that. So I hope that blesses someone tonight. We're gonna do we're gonna do a um, testimony broadcast sometime soon. We're gonna do a whole testimony because you guys you guys need to hear it. Um, you definitely need to hear it. Carrie's over there dancing, right? She's, she's waiting for us. She's like, "Come on, look at this! You get a new body." I could take a new body too. I could really take a new body. I I really want hair. I just want I want hair. Yeah, I want hair. <laughs> yeah, like that's a long, beautiful hair, right? <laughs> Likes are going to my ear. Oh, that's so funny. All right, guys. So God bless you guys. We prayed on out. Um, hair is nice. Yeah, I do miss hair. In church, that doesn't make you a Christian any more than going to McDonald's makes you a Happy Meal. Exactly. I like you. You're awesome. <laughs> I knew I fanned you for a reason. Um, Bless you too, Allison. Thanks for joining, guys. So check this out, okay? Singing tonight, singing tonight was Miss Kayla, and we're gonna play it again because that's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna do this on the way out. So guys, thanks so much um, for joining. You guys on Live Me. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm gonna hop off because it's just too much playing here. So, uh, guys, hang on. You guys here on Periscope and everywhere else land, you're gonna hear "Be Blessed" by a song. So here we go. All right, Live Me. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, let's shut down live.me. Bye-bye. There we go. All right, so live.me is down now. So now we can actually go ahead and do the broadcast. Finish up, and we all go over and join Becky in her broadcast. So let's play this song. I love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Take away the melody. Take away the songs I sing Take away all the lies All the songs you let me write Does the man I am today Say the words you need to say Let them see you
Hashtag SGE Love Fest.